All right, peeps. Uh, we're going to well, what we're gonna well, it's Jake again. It's Rashid. It's Jason Core. Whatever. So we're gonna um jump back into Open Tunes again and kind of try to finish up this project that we're working on with the rigged wolf character. Now, for the character, I've been trying to gather references in terms of um a lot of stuff. So so far, my rig looks a little something like this. Uh, it might be a little different from the last last um video I showed you, but this is what it looks like. So I'm in timeline view and. For certain things, I've created um, different parts. So, like for a hand, hand currently has one thing. Um, so I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna add one more um, hand. So for that, I'm gonna need a gumball reference, and then I'm just gonna. So the mouth has definitely a bunch of stuff because we're gonna have a bit of deep thinking in there, and so I'm just making sure everything is set up okay so that there are no problems when I get into the whole lip thinking. Right, so make sure my mouth positions are cool. Right, make sure that whatever I need smoothing or curvature is curved, and just using the control point here, I'm just clean up those um, shapes here that we have so that everything works out okay. Right, so that's there. Make sure that this is building properly. Change the color, bring that more pixel. And we got that part there. Don't forget to save, of course. And just making sure everything runs smooth. Everything's okay so far, it seems like. Alright, so I guess it was based on the gumball character. I accept it's a wolf. And I have a few positions in terms of the way it looks. Uh, the only thing I need now is just one more uh, position for the arm. The reason why it's important to me because I have a particular script I'm going to be following is where he explains who he is. He says, uh, my name is Wolfie. It's actually William Ulrich Leonard Farrell III. But my friends call me Wolfie. Um, so, and he continues in the discourse, kind of. And then he's going to be explaining this as well. I need um, certain mouth, pos um, mouth positions as well as gestures in terms of the way he carries on him his body language now there's multiple ways we could um get this whole arm done so i could probably show you one way while i think about what arm position i need um and so for that i'm gonna just quickly open up a new scene i don't know i'll just save all this stuff. and i'm just gonna quickly create like an arm just something simple so that you can kind of get the idea and this would be if you are planning to use the um, plastic tool. So we have here the rectangle. We're just going to create a simple arm. Right. I'm also going to be using the cutter tool. So I can just clear up some of this stuff here and get the thing working. So that cuts off that. Cuts off that. And then we just jump back into the selection tool there. And we have. This cut out. I also want this thing to cut out as well. So, cut out tool. That. That. Let's cut that out and just make sure everything's closed up properly. And, you know, all things are cool. So, it's like the same. Um, I could use the brush tool, I could use the polyline tool, it doesn't really matter. Uh, probably just polyline tool for now and sit there and just gonna try and use a similar shape like what we had before. That's a couple lines there. And just drag them in the center. Right and then just create a a new style, right? Um probably change the color a bit. Uh one for red and probably another one. I'm giving them a name. Thing, probably one for something close to black gray or black so that's opacity still so uh let's say we're working with this uh this is that and these one two well, let's say we'll just do another style based off that one it's slightly darker here all right so let's say you had a, um an arm for your character and you wanted to 
instead of using the um you know let's say we didn't break it and we wanted one arm that has a bunch of positions what you could do is this so we have the whole of this and you could let's say you know you have a body so right now we have a column one we're gonna assume that's an arm you could always add a new peg bar and the peg bar is really just a point or what we I like calling a peg um something that allows you to control the the object or the the drawing without actually directly modifying the drawing so you could actually use this to change your rotation points and stuff but you say peg one and change the um the center for example and let's move this here in the center of the arm and that will be the center of the arm and whenever we want to do something like a rotation instead of you know messing around with this we can mess around with this and you get the rotation of the arm so rather than actually manipulating the shape of the actual drawing itself you can manipulate the peg and it really does allow you some flexibility in terms of what you want to look now another thing you could add to that is not with a peg bar of course because you can actually control a peg with plastic monogram plastic tool and you'll see that I can't do anything here. I have to jump onto um <coughs> color and I have the option here not with peg but with the drawing to create a mesh as long as I'm using the plastic tool. Let me just show you that again. Plastic tool shortcut is X. If I click on the peg and I choose the plastic tool right to do so it looks like I have the ability to create a mesh let's see and it shows me what I can use as a mesh um and how much the divisions are going to be there this is not very much division it's going to be a very low poly but it asks you mesh edge length if you lower that you get more right and the more it is the higher the resolution of the mesh uh restoration it tells you how much margin and they will just say okay apply what that does now it creates a, a mesh for me to actually build a skeleton on so i have the option here after you create your mesh right you can always build a skeleton edit mesh paint rigid you could animate you could skeleton. on so you could just go um this is gonna be my root point and I can actually get this root to be there while I so a root building the skeleton and you know normally I have more than one joint like one joint here one joint there uh probably a joint here and if we choose example to animate right let's say we start off here you can drop in a keyframe there uh, I'll probably just extend the whole drawing and the same thing for my mesh right because my mesh is actually being manipulated it's not it's not the actual drawing it's the mesh of the drawing and for animates you can just say okay for this guy we're just gonna you know back to the plastic tool there again and we have the option to animate what you want to do is you can be using this so Click on the mesh itself where it gets the bones and such. If you just choose to do this, you get that bend. Now you can notice that it's a little bit weird. You don't have that flexibility to control how much of this gets bent, right? Um, so if you wanted more flexibility in terms of bending this thing, what I recommend is we go back to <clears throat> not animate but skeleton what we can do is probably pull this up pull this up we're just gonna build more and just carry this in and then you could um in the whole animate bit right now from here to here that's fine and say okay for pixel animation you can choose that there and you like okay doesn't look too bad for this right and you could actually just animate it doing more things you know just doing that and it just stops in the keyframe automatically and you could create your um animation using something like that very very simple very easy that's if you're going to use your arm like this however if you're going to be using it um in another way where you're not using a plastic tool you actually have to draw out every different drawing substitution much like you saw me with the um wolfie here or should say william 
I'm not going to save this. I'm going to discard changes because it's not so important. Right. But before I do that, one more thing you could actually look at is even in these, you have the ability to, to start, if you want to call it. I'm familiar with a lot of programs. So you can paint rigid, which means that if you paint on it, it's not going to, it's going to be stiff. So I'm going to do that, paint this rigid, which means, and I'll just show you. If we go um, to animate, you can see here another animation change because those rigid parts aren't going to bend at all. Right, so that's if you're planning to do something like that. Let's jump back to Wolfie real quick and um, discard these changes. So let's just load the scene anyway. So this is what we have Wolfie here, and I'm going to stop the video here so you can kind of get this in parts. And I'll just meet you in the next video.